you know i want to i want to tell you guys how they like try and give somali a chance you know what coming to this country a lot of people told me so many things even when i arrived the very first day they refused to allow me to enter it took me like nine good hours at the airport but i was still i mean positive to come to the country just to come and see what the entire media is talking about is so true i'm not here to tell you that somali is the safest country in the world if i should tell you that which means i will be lying to you but i'm telling you that somali is just like any other country in africa that i've ever visited i mean coming in here i see similarities between mogadishu and dakar of senegal i mean maybe some part of ghana looks like this so my brothers and sisters give somali a chance go live your life come and explore and you know what what i'm gonna tell you be positive <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the easternmost part of Africa, Somalia. The country Somalia has been through a lot and it's currently famous for so many wrong reasons. Can I ask you a question? But make sure you reply me in the comment section. What did you know about Somalia before watching this video? To be honest with you all, I was also a victim because I was super scared of coming to Somalia. Literally, I'm gonna stay in Mogadishu for two days. Extremely, like, I won't lie. Extremely scared because I believe that I took the risk of coming to this country. But when I landed, I learned something new and I just have to share with you all. Touching down with Mogadishu is super crazy, man. I felt like we were touching down inside the Indian Ocean, but I'm like, yo, can we see land already? <laughs> Behind me is the uh, Masjid Kaisbehesiga or the Islamic Solidarity Mosque. This mosque was built in 1987 uh, by the Hammer Company uh, with the support of the Saudi king. Um, it was temporarily closed back in, t back in 1990. Of course, as you all know in the history, there was civil war. But then it was reopened back in 2006 and it's considered one of the most important mosques. The reason is, it's actually one of the largest, not one of the, the largest of the uh, Islamic mosque in the Horn of Africa. Let's continue with more history. And who does this man? It looks like a legend. This man, he's representing the common people. So if you see he's holding the rock and he's making one step forward okay. as you're about to throw a rock. Okay. So the name is Dagah Tur. Dagah is a rock. Tur is throw. Throw okay. rock is basically the literal meaning. So what, what it represents is when, the, when we were trying to get rid of the colonists, the British and the Italians, basically saying, get out of our country. Oh! Get out of our country. We are the people. We rule our country. We're going to defend our country. They didn't have guns. They didn't have uh, 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 anything to, to use against exactly. the colonists. Exactly. So they were using... They were using rocks. So the symbol of this man is a symbol of the people uh, throwing the rock. Wow. We have to start somewhere. Wow. I mean, your village boy, if you defend yourself and you have nothing, you got to start with the uh, you know? I'll start with the slippers. Yes. <laughs> what does this monument represent? So, Maya, welcome back again. Today we are here at the SYL monument. As you can see, these are the 13 youth that came together to form a political party. It was the first political, youth political party, actually, that was like, it's, it, it, it's built the road for independence for the whole country of Somalia. So basically, 13 youth. yes, 13 youth, th 13 youth, sorry, they came together to bring whole country together and form an independ independence. Whoa. So, yeah, so, it has a significant uh, a spiritual and an inspiration for many youth, youth in Somalia. I don't think just in Somalia, yes. but the entire continent. Because I've been telling you guys that Africa is the future because the youth of Africa mm -hmm. needs to take up the mandate to fight for the freedom of our continent. Absolutely. And I'm so glad that I came here, man. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. So that's why we built this to just come and, you know, like get inspired by them. Like why they 
like they started the whole initiative and we need to bring back the like the whole uh, uh, achievement that they have fought for so like that's this, like the year 1943 right yes that's when they formed that political party but now now we have this beautiful country because such of these amazing men that's beautiful yeah. So this is uh, how Taco Monument uh, is a very important monument to the Somali people. Uh, as you can see, it's a woman. She's not only representing women, she's representing the Somali independence. Uh, as you can see, there's a spear going through her heart. Uh, she was killed in the middle of the action, like in the middle of protest. This, that tells you this country comes from a very far place. People shed blood to get the country where it is. Hawataco, not only was she a woman, she was a mother and she was a representative of the Somali uh, country. And as you can see the light she's holding, that's the hope that we still have today. Mogadishu is a beautiful and big city. We have beautiful beaches, food, incredible culture, and we love to stay here every single time. Wadamaya, welcome home, welcome home. We really love you and we always love to watch your beautiful videos that you are promoting the beautiful Africa. Well love. Yo, I just bumped into one of the most famous musicians okay. here in Somalia. Yeah. And my brother, nice to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet you too. Tell me something about your country. Yeah, I'm Somali Sindhu. Oh, yeah. My name is Daya. So, my welcome to Mogadishu. Wahama uh, Center. Yeah, we are beautiful people and oh. amazing. Okay. So, we love bees. So, welcome to Where's to here. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. The country Somalia got one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. You know what? I've been reading about the longest coastal line in Africa and I never knew a day would come. I will actually be walking along the longest coastal line in Africa. I mean, this is what makes me happy to go out there and go live my life. I am currently in Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia. Somalia. Yo. So, from this perspective, what do you see in the buildings? I mean, I've been here less than 24 hours, and what I can say is like, Mogadishu is the city of contrast, because you see a beautiful building right there, and you see another building that was deteriorated during the war. So, literally, I feel like things are getting better, you know? So, with time, Definitely, when you come to Mogadishu, you won't see Mogadishu this way because everything is changing because you can see for yourself, right? Because this was affected during the Civil War. Right next, the building behind is beautiful, you know, so it's happening, man. It's lit. <laughs> Before the Civil War, Mogadishu was the white spell of the Indian Ocean, but the war destroyed everything. You ever have an idea of the Battle of Mogadishu? or the famous movie Black Hawk Down. Where we are right now, this is the exact location where the Black Hawk Down was shot down right here. So yeah, Black Hawk Down happened here and um, you know, it's not a good moment, but it's good to be here though. Believe me or not, the spirit of the phrase never give up exists inside the people of Somalia because despite the years of struggles and challenges, the people never gave up on this beautiful country. Mogadishu is rising. You know, one thing that I've noticed here in Mogadishu that makes me so happy is that when I got to Mogadishu, I found out that businesses in this country are actually owned by the people of Somali which makes it more interesting so if you're a tourist coming to Mogadishu or coming to Somalia know that as an African whatever money that you spend in here goes into the pocket of the people of Somali like just take a look at the apartment right there I would love to do a video on this but I don't really have enough time but this shows that Odemaya will definitely come back again in the next three months to show you what Somalis are doing in their own country. I always want to show you proofs. You know, I don't like talking about certain things whilst I know that it doesn't exist. 
seen it right there. That building is owned by a Somalian. This one right there is owned by a Somalian. This one right here that you've seen is owned by a Somalian. The one over there is owned by a Somalian. So you know what? You just have to get rid of what you think about this beautiful country and give this beautiful country a chance. Welcome home. Welcome to Mogadishu. Welcome to the beautiful Somalia. In the past six years, we have witnessed the most uh, booming uh, buildings and constructions. People from the diaspora be coming back to the country, taking part in investment and rebuilding and making businesses. We're gonna meet many of them in the town. There is, they open co uh, coffee shops, they open a massive restaurants and hotels like from one star to five star hotels. It's really amazing and it's incredible. Uh, especially during uh, uh, like uh, the security um, fiasco in the country. Imagine if we have like a long-term peace without any of this crazy hustling um, explosions and all that and the insecurity and political crisis that we have. If we have a long-term peace and the people decide to agree to, uh, and agree to live in peace, Imagine what could have Mogadishu like become. Uh, back in the days, you used to call Mogadishu the Pearl of Africa. By the way, that's the nickname of Mogadishu back in the days. So we want to get it back again and make it the Pearl of, of, of the whole Africa and the Pearl of, of the whole region. Yeah. So welcome back to Mogadishu. I was so excited to see more Somalian diaspora returning back to make Somalia home again. Yeah. How, which year did you move to Somalia? Oh, yeah. which year? 2014. And do you regret moving back in here? I don't. No. I don't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Do you have a message for other Somalis living in the diaspora? If you have a message for them, what would that message be? Be like you and be a free bird and travel and see it, right? You gotta, you gotta see it to believe it and Absolutely. to live it. So I just met this guy right here and he said, Yo, what's my name? Yeah, my name is Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah, we have seen you on YouTube before. I was watching you last night, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I was watching wow. you last night. And I'm meeting you yeah, right here. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, what are you doing here? Like, how my people are doing? Come on, like, you. You, you are you Somalia? You love Somalia? I mean, I love Somalia. I'm so glad that I came, man. Yeah, nice what, country, what are you going to tell people out there who has no, nothing, no idea about Somalia? Come, come back to the country, man. This is the motherland. Everyone come back. That's a message for Somalis? Yeah, everyone, everyone needs to come back home. Why you know, do everyone, they have to come back home? Pardon? Why, it's why the motherland, it's the motherland. Nothing is better than home, isn't it? You are born and raised in... Oh, no, I was born in Somalia, but I grew up in England. And why did you come back? Um, I, I recently got married, actually. I was married. You got married, you yeah, had to come back? Yeah, I recently got married, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Yeah. You look like somebody that I know, man. How are you doing? We look good, though. Huh? We look good, then. You look good. Yeah, you look like somebody that I know, man. Hey, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look. So this is the guy. Charlie! Charlie! Hey! How are you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? Are you from Somali? I'm Somali, of course I'm Somali. Born and raised in Somali? No, I'm from Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, yeah. Why is it everyone lives in Toronto? Like almost No, I think no, no everyone. Let's say no. Well, what about you? I'm from Italy, yeah. <laughs> from Italy? <laughs> you see? Yeah, man. Yo, 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 I got a lot of people out there who have no idea how Mogadishu looks like or I mean the city Mogadishu. If you have something to tell them, what will you say? Yeah, Mogadishu is a beautiful city. Uh, you only hear bad, but once you come here, you know what I'm going to ask you? I'm going to flip it. I'm going to be the interviewer right now. Okay. How do you see Mogadishu? I mean, I feel like it's just like any other city in Africa. Just like any other city. Exactly. No, this is offensive, then. Yeah. I feel offended <laughs> right now. Offended I mean, how? Yeah, that's how? That's city right there. No, I mean like, it, it looks... Basically the same everywhere. I mean, it does. It does. <laughs> You're right about that. They like lights in Africa. They like, they like bright lights. Exactly. And there are right. so many lights yeah. in Mogadishu, that man. Red, green, blue. Okay, show them right there. Do a little twist around right there. Show them that little ice cream shop right there. Look at all that lights. I'm not gonna buy ice cream though. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm gonna take yeah. you guys to a juice spot. I'm okay. gonna support small businesses. I'm gonna take you guys to a juice spot. We Fantastic. Get a avocado. Fantastic. Date drink, right? Fantastic. I would love to check that out, man. All right, yeah. man. Man. Thank you. You know, I've seen all your videos, the one of real estate. Oh, really? Yeah, because I'm an architect, you know? So one of these days, 
Yeah. Ah. This guy in here, we're gonna drop it like uh, some nice spot. Yeah? Definitely. And then you're gonna tell me after the dishes like the other city? Nah, nah, no. nah, 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 nah. I love it, I love it, I love it. Were you born and raised in Mogadishu? No, I wasn't. I was born in Ottawa, Canada. And I was raised there and I also was uh, in Kuwait for a portion of my life. And eventually I decided to move to Somalia. Is everything okay with you? Everything is fine. Of all the places, why would you move to Mogadishu? Um, I, f I always had a plan to move to Somalia at one point in my life. It was more of a long-term dream. Um, but I just came several times. So I came in 2013 for the first time. And then I followed it up with another trip in 2016. And I, it just became like an obsession. I needed, to, I needed to be here. So when I came in 2017, I was here for like three months. I decided to volunteer at a hospital. And then I decided, you know what? I'm happy here. Why do I need to be in the West? Let me just, I went back, packed my bags, and I moved here. Do you regret moving back to Mogadishu? No, no. And She's making money. <laughs> She's making money in Mogadishu. Do you think there are opportunities here in Mogadishu? Of course, there's so much opportunities. It's like fertile land for any sort of idea that you have. You want to open a business, there's so much things you can do. There's so much, um, there's so much open areas. Like you, you want to open, I just saw recently a girl opened a flower shop and I was like, amazing, we need flowers. I want flowers, you know? So there's so much opportunities here. And um, I think it's, it's, it's a bit scary in the beginning, but once you're here for a little bit, you realize it's not actually, it's actually not so scary. If you have a message to your brothers and sisters living in the diaspora who has given up on Mogadishu, Somalia, um, what are you going to tell them? I would say before they like just stick to that idea, they should give it a chance. Like I'm not going to say pack your bags and move. I would say come visit, spend some time here, not two weeks. You need to be here at least a month, two months, you know, and then maybe you'll you'll actually enjoy it. And I've met a lot of people that, after being here for a while, did decide, you know what, I could live here, I'm going to move here. So, just give it a chance. Don't believe what you see on the media. Tell us something that we don't know about Mogadishu, Somalia. Something that you don't know about Mogadishu, Somalia. Mogadishu, Somalia is actually safer at night. <laughs> Surprisingly, people, they think that you know, nighttime is a dangerous time to go out, but here, when it's 9 o'clock, you can say, you know what, now I'm not afraid, I could go outside, there's not going to be any bombings, <laughs> you know? So that's something interesting. Interesting. Yeah. How is life doing businesses here in Mogadishu? Um, it's not very easy, it's difficult, but when you understand how to run here, actually this culture, when you understand, you can easily run. So... But Which in the beginning it's uh, very hard. So is it worth it to invest in Mogadishu? Uh, it's worth than any other country, especially in the Western, because this is a it's a virgin country. You can invest in small money with uh, big businesses. If you have a mentality to, to, to do your own business and and expand that business, you can do a really good job here. I, I want to ask this question. I think I forgot. Um, what are the kind of business opportunities that you see around that you think people can invest their money into? I think he would be better at answering that. He's really, he's really into businesses. Well, um, you know, number one is uh, property, uh, land, and other things. And the other opportunities that are very available in here are more small businesses. Even coffee, coffee shops. We need more coffee shops. We need, we need to to open more restaurants. We need to open more uh, local brands, and then we can take that brands to the, to the world, or maybe Africa. So I think there's a lot of business. I want to say thank you so much for talking to me.